Hey guys, Heretic of You here, wishing you a happy international tabletop uh, game day. Um, we're gonna celebrate it by doing a bat rap. Yeah, I know. Finally, a bat rap. I don't know how many people actually watch these bat reps, but um, that's how I'm gonna celebrate it. And uh, since I am practicing for the ITS at Kingdom Con, it's gonna be more infinity. Uh, sorry about that. You know, after the ITS, we'll probably go back to regular scheduled games. But uh, yeah, I gotta get my my practice in, so I'm not totally effing useless at Kingdom Con. So let's jump right into the two forces. Uh, this time it is going to be the nomads and we are going to be playing or I am going to be playing um, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly Kwapu Kwali yeah that's as close as I'm gonna get to pronouncing that correctly basically the Hakislam or one of the Hakislam sectorial lists okay so without further ado let's take a look at uh, the lists Hey, these gonads <laughs> against them. <laughs> uh, so, Sin Eater, Sin Eater, uh, Reverend Healer, Reverend Moira, Accounter, three Accounter. Reverend Moiras, and uh, Reverend Superior uh, Kusanagi. <laughs> you encountered a wild Reverend Moira. <laughs> <laughs> so many. <laughs> I'm rocking the Scarface. That's Scarface. That's an engineer under there. Uh, Odalesk with Spitfire, Gulam, um, Rifle, uh, Cordelia. Just awesome. And then he's a forward observer, so he's my um, Havza. Havza. We got um, forward observer Gulam. Chuck Norris, Gulam Doctor, Gulam with uh, HMG, and Jambazan with Sniper Rifle, and then a Janissary Doctor, and a Camo Marker. Okay, and it is your turn. Oh, we're playing Armory. That's right, so this is the Armory, and we're trying to get some Boote. Where we get some more Boote wins. Okay, so starting at turn one, Nomads win the roll and decide to go first. So I take deployment and make him set up first. Alright, so Armory. We're playing Armory. Let me just go over that real quick. You see the tower in the center there. Uh, that's full of weapons and goodies and stuff. So object of the game is to get your specialists to open the door. And then uh, I think only specialists can um, um, react with these little node things that allow you to roll on a special chart called the booty chart. You roll on the booty chart, get yourself some goodies. Um, player with the most uh, new, you know uh, value troops in the armory and the most uh, booty is going to win this battle. So. What you missed there was a sniper sh uh, taking out my Odalesque, but my Odalesque also shot him in the face. So the Sin Eater died and the Odalesque is unconscious, but um, <clears throat> they quickly react by activating the Doc who revives said sniper. So yeah, good for them. So Moira is moving all over the place. Um, the only other action we got going on is that sniper versus my Jambazan sniper. So a little sniper duel going off there. Usually, um, my guy wins it, but uh, this time, uh, reacting off the arrow is going to get shot in the face twice. He's going to fail both armor rolls, and so even his regeneration is not going to save him. He is out for the game, so pretty good turn by the Nomads. So, Kwapu turn one. Uh, let's see. Gonna start with, well, I have to start with Scarface. He is impetuous, so um, he's gonna run out there. Um, <clears throat> now, you could stop that move 
uh, by spending an order, but <clears throat> I really want to take out that sniper, so I'm taking an aggressive stance, jumping out there, and um, betting my double MK-12s versus his um, sniper rifle arrow. And guess what? So the MK-12s uh, win it. So I ended up taking out that sniper once again. Uh, we did have to, quick note, we did have to re, um, re roll that. Uh, there's going to be a section there that um, you're going to see us um, kind of have to backtrack. Uh, it's because I rolled too many dice on the the attack. <clears throat> I thought when you know, double MK12s, I'd be rolling six, six D20s. It's actually only four. So you only get plus one um, to your burst when you when you have that extra weapon there anyways uh it'll all work out in the end and then i activate my camouflage marker which is my hawa hacker waste a couple orders uh hacks the door open goes inside and gets to roll on the booty chart uh, my choices was um, either a panzerfaust or armor armor one i took armor one because i'm thinking um well that he's going to be hold, holding out there for a while. And so he's going to take some shots to the head. So maybe that was it. Uh, Cordelia is running up. And um, <clears throat> I think it was then that we realized. Uh, yeah, it's, it's when I started um, looking at the weapons profiles, kids. That I was like, oh, I, I, I messed up on uh, I messed up on Scarface. So Scarface did not... Uh, in fact, uh, murder the uh, sniper, the Sin Eater, as badly as he did. Um, so the Sin Eater is down, but just unconscious again. So, as you can see, uh, Scarface took a, um, a structure point uh, when we started redoing things. And had I really thought about it, I should have spent an order on Cordelia to repair that uh, structure point but um, oh well we were, we were just busy trying to correct our our mistake of the game but at least we caught it uh, forward observer is going to move forward now that the I think the HMG took out his other sniper on the other side and um, just kind of catching up here letting you know what's happening and we have uh, once again the this is actually the role here to bring back the, uh, the sniper. So, okay, so that was basically turn one for uh, the Kwapu. Kwapu. And now it's uh, Nomad's turn two. Scarface wide out open and the uh, Sin Eater taking shots and taking them down. So, Scarface is out, out of the match. You wanna play gas? Okay. I can play with you. Come on. Okay. Do you wanna play rough? Okay. Oh, no. Say hello to my little friend! Okay. Do you wanna play rough? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you like that? Yeah, kind of wishing that was the case. Unfortunately, my Scarface nowhere near as cool as the real Scarface. Anyways, back to the Nomads. Uh, that's a that's a hacker. I'm gonna open the door, and then we're gonna have a face-off roll. Unfortunately, my hacker is going to lose to uh, it's shotgun versus shotgun battle, which is pretty awesome. But um, the mimetism helping out in that fight, so my hacker is gonna miss, take it to the face, and die. And unfortunately, that means that hacker the nomad side is going to waltz into the building and grab uh, I think uh, she chooses armor 2 which is going to make her very hard to down um, and that will be nomads turn 2 basically uh, so um, Kwapu is got to really do something about that hacker so it's my turn and we start with the forward observer. So forward observer gonna um, uh, advance forward, 
and we're gonna have a face-off roll because both doors are open and shotgun's gonna win again and actually uh, take her out kill her so nomads hanging on to the armory pretty strong there oh, wait uh, let's see did I make it in the building uh, no well, I actually yeah I do make it in the building but I die trying to open up the armory so good times good times so now I'm going with Cordelia Cordelia wanting to get in on the action taking some shots at the uh, well actually she's gonna get arrowed as she crosses over you see how that there's a little gap in between the buildings there uh, that Sin Eater with the sniper rifle is going to take a shot at her and and uh, that Sin Eater is going to take her down so that Sin Eater uh, last time we played not a factor this time becoming a huge factor um, taking out both Scarface and Cordelia so things not looking good for the Quapu well we'll see uh, so, I think this is going to be back to uh, Nomads. Nope, still, still my turn. So, moving out the dock, and he's going to uh, uh, medkit. He's going to try and medkit uh, Cordelia. And he has to face the arrow of the Sin Eater Sniper as well, but uh, feeling a little bit better because, you know, I got two wounds, so I can be a little bit more brazen with him. Um, unfortunately, Sniper has a multi-sniper rifle, this time going with Shock, and he's going to take out the duck. Yeah. So the doctor is unconscious, and so now I've got... Wow, a bunch of um, unhappy faces all over the field. That is never a good sign, kids, when you have that many unhappy faces. <laughs> when you're playing Infinity, you don't want the unhappy faces on your side. You want them on the, your opponent's side. Just some basic uh, newbie strategy out there. If you got too many unhappy faces uh, on your side of the table, means things are not going your way. So I'm going to reveal my lieutenant is Chuck Norris and he's gonna pull everyone together and yeah so um, this is my third turn this is gonna be the last turn of the game uh, it's gonna be a doctor Congo line so that's my uh, my Ghulam doctor gonna sling her medkit and revive that doctor who's going to revive Cordelia now there were some arrows in between um, Nothing uh, of note, though, so everything worked out okay. Unfortunately, um, that my Janissary Doctor is going to completely mess up, and oh, uh, let's see, he takes a wound, then he gets over there, he tries to heal Cordelia, and nope, botches the operation, so... We are looking at some some very dire dire uh, dire situation here from Kwapu. Um, so it's my last turn here to make a, a move, and so I'm going with. I think I activate the Gulam Doctor again, who successfully medkits um, the Janissary. I don't even know if this is, guys. If you're watching, was that legal? Can we just you know? Can that keep happening? Can you keep bringing guys back to life? I, I think so. As long as they're not, they're in the unconscious state, not the the dead, dead state. Anyways, uh, there's going to be an arrow. He's going to take out the, the hacker and then take out the final guy in the building and occupy the building. So, a little confusing in the end there. Uh, but uh, basically, my Janissary now is in control of the armory. So that is going to score me three points because uh, everybody else inside there is dead. There's just a pile of dead fucking bodies in there. You can see all the unhappy fishes as you see there. Um, 
So that's going to net me a, uh, three victory points. Uh, now, uh, Mark, or the Nomads, actually um, got more, um, more rolls off the booty table. So that's actually uh, worth victory points as well. And so that's going to um, net him uh, two victory points. And then, at the very end, uh, we had I, there was a turn where he had controlled the tower without anybody inside that, and that is going to net him an additional victory point. So basically, you're looking at a tie. And um, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed that I, uh, um, special upload for International Tabletop uh, Game Day. Uh, ties are always fun for me because it's like, well, you know, everybody sort of wins. We got to kill each other. We got to shoot each other in the face. Some cool stuff happened. I kind of just wish Scarface did better, but that was my own fault for not, um, you know, um, paying attention to him with Cordelia, uh, sort of, and just kind of underestimating the the unconscious state. You know, you, you get something unconscious and you think it's going to stay that way. It's not true in this game. So learned that the hard way anyways i hope you guys enjoyed and happy tabletop international tabletop uh gaming day and i will see you on the next one